As you know, the world of digital assets is rapidly evolving and it's catching the attention of regulators across the country and across the world. Tax compliance is going to become a growing issue in the digital asset industry and it's imperative that your company is on top of this. I often say that audits are won before they begin and that's because proper preparation and planning is what ensures that your company will come out of the other side of an audit safe and with your bottom line protected. In this video, I'm going to go over the steps that Web3 businesses can take to prepare themselves for an audit and some of the best practices related to this. So what does the audit process look like for a Web3 business transacting in digital assets? The way that an audit usually starts is that information is going to be collected from your business. This will be fairly comprehensive up front where they're going to want all of your bank records, general ledgers, accounting records. In addition, they're going to want all of your wallet addresses and all of your cryptocurrency transaction history. If you're properly managing your company's accounting processes, tax documentation, and preparing for the event of an audit, all of this information should already be on hand and saved in, in the appropriate fashion. So we have audit trails to provide the tax authorities for every position that we've claimed on our tax return. So the exact scope of an audit can vary depending on the type of audit and what specifically is getting scrutinized when it comes to the tax return and the accounting records that your company is providing. But the key to understand is that we're going to be providing this information up front, so we want to make sure that it's accurate and that it's on hand well before an audit. When you're preparing for a digital asset audit for your Web3 business, it's important to be thorough and proactive. And there's several steps that you can take to ensure that you're successful. Number one is you want to gather all necessary documentation up front to ensure that we have the necessary documents, such as receipts, banking records, and so on to provide the tax authorities when they request it during the audit process. Number two is we want to develop a clear record keeping system and we want to do so with a sophisticated accounting system, which means we want to use a good solution that automates a lot of our digital asset accounting and allows us to create proper audit trails and document the source and flow of funds for each transaction that is done across the blockchain. This will ensure that when we're providing this information to authorities, we can substantiate the cost basis and purchase data for every single asset that we're claiming on our tax return. Number three is understanding and implementing the correct tax positions for the various type of transactions that your Web3 business may take part in. Obviously, you know, you need to work with a tax professional on this. There's plenty of businesses out there that are taking incorrect tax positions or overly aggressive tax positions. You want to avoid these types of instances during an audit or it's going to affect your bottom line. We want to take a conservative, well-documented approach to make sure that all of our tax positions are going to be compliant and in line with IRS tax code and regulations. And lastly, we want to address any potential red flags or issues. Due to the nascent qualities of this industry, there are many types of new transactions that are taking place that regulators may not be fully caught up to in terms of providing guidance to taxpayers. In these scenarios, we want to take the, the most reasonable tax position and take a conservative approach, but also to document this and document the reasoning behind our position so that if this gets scrutinized in an audit, we have contemporaneous documentation on the, the position we took and the reason why we took it and the supporting evidence that on why this is a compliant position from a tax perspective. So there are some common mistakes that I see Web3 businesses make that will negatively impact them in the event of an audit. The first one is lack of proper record keeping, not documenting your income, your gain or losses, and your ending cost basis for every transaction that took place 
with the proper audit trail that's well documented is going to lead to adjustments in your audit. Additionally, taking incorrect tax positions on any of the transactions that are related to your Web3 business are going to lead to adjustments in your audit. So you wanna be conservative in the tax positions that you're taking and you want these tax positions to be well-researched and well-documented. Another big one is incorrect valuation of your digital assets. You wanna make sure that you're applying the correct valuation to your digital assets. I don't wanna to go too deep into detail on this on this video, but this is imperative because this is going to impact the overall gain or loss for any capital gains along with the, with the income that you're recognizing or the expenses that you're recognizing on any given transaction. And overall, you wanna implement the correct accounting system and correct methodology for your company as a whole. This means both on the, the digital asset side, but also on the traditional accounting side. Having an incorrect system or an incorrect accounting methodology, again, is just going to lead to adjustments during an audit that is going to impact your company's bottom line. So, you know, some of my biggest lessons learned in audits related to Web3 businesses and preparing for them is that audits are one before they begin and we need to be proactive in establishing an accounting system and maintaining that accounting system as well as establishing a proper compliance and tax preparation system and maintaining that on a monthly, quarterly, and yearly basis. And this will ensure that when the tax authorities come knocking, that we're prepared and we're in a good position to protect our bottom line throughout that audit process. So as a Web3 CEO or business owner, what can you do today to ensure that you're going to be adequately prepared in the event of an audit. Number one is make sure you're on top of the tax and accounting regulatory changes that impact the digital asset and Web3 industry. This is a fast paced environment that's changing very quickly. Regulators are heavily focused on this industry and as a result, the regulations are going to have many developments on a monthly, quarterly and yearly basis that can impact your accounting and your tax methodology. So we wanna make sure that we're staying on top of this to ensure that we're taking the correct approach with the most up-to-date guidance. A tenant that ties into this is you wanna make sure that you're working with an experienced tax and accounting professional that can help you both navigate the regulations and then set up a proper tax compliance system and an proper accounting system to ensure that on a monthly, quarterly, and yearly basis, we're accounting for everything appropriately and we're taking the correct tax positions. And lastly, you wanna work with that tax professional or you wanna work with your team to implement an ongoing compliance and accounting plan. There's too many Web3 businesses that I see that leave taxes and accounting as an afterthought. And this is going to lead to inaccuracies in your accounting, incorrect accounting positions, and overall just many errors that can negatively impact you during an audit. So you wanna make sure that on a monthly or quarterly basis, you're properly managing the accounting system that you've implemented and that you're also looking at things appropriately from a tax perspective to make sure that you have the correct tax positions, you're paying your estimated tax payments, and all other considerations are being addressed appropriately. Are you a Web3 CEO or business owner that's looking for an experienced digital asset CPA firm that can assist you with your tax compliance and ongoing accounting needs and digital asset accounting? Look no further than Camuso CPA. We work specifically with Web3 businesses and digital asset investors, and we've been here since the inception of this industry. We've been doing digital asset accounting since 2016. We work with both investors and Web3 businesses, regardless of the level of complexity that is required for your Web3 accounting system, along with your tax filing requirements, Camuso CPA will have you covered and will be able to help you with any past issues, any current issues, along with ongoing support in the future.